actually have the necessary votes. We also had a full conversation with my colleagues from across the country, and it seems we will be nominating a presidency from outside the party. I will never vote any liberal government, and as long as I am interim leader, I will recommend against voting Orban as Prime Minister Marcel Cholaku. Prime Minister Ludovic Orban, however, believes the motion will fail. Parliamentary Partitului Național Liberal, Sofia President. The National Liberal Party will be attending the sitting and voting openly against the censure motion. I have entrusted the leaders of parliamentary parties for the task of negotiating with our partner groups and MPs individually to persuade them of the benefits of the two-round voting system and hence to make them vote against the motion. Prime Minister Ludovic Orban. Whereas at first the motion was seen as a symbolic gesture, as the Social Democrats were believed not to go on. The risk that the snap elections should follow the removal of the Orban cabinet is still high, but the Social Democrats have done the math and want to preserve their regional influence, which has won them so many elections. For that, they must do everything in their power to block the two-round voting system in a year when the election score is close and local and legislative elections can go either way. The victims of the fire at the Bucharest-based collective club will benefit from lifelong financial support granted by the state in the form of medical treatment according to a draft law unanimously passed by the Senate. I'm Lakonora Simeon, with this commentary by Daniel Abudu. The Romanian Senate on Monday approved a bill on granting lifelong financial aid for the payment of medical treatments to the victims of the collective club fire. The bill was initiated by a group of senators from the Liberal Party, the Save Romania Union Party, the Democratic Union of Ethnic Hungarians in Romania and the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats and was unanimously adopted by the 111 senators attending the meeting. Under this bill, the authorities approved the payment from the health care ministry budget of the expenses for any needed medical treatment country and abroad, both in private and state-owned hospitals with independent physicians and therapists for ambulatory or hospital care. The victims will benefit from lifelong medical treatments if their treatment is directly related to the fire that occurred on October 30th, 2015 at the Collective Club. The law was adopted by the Senate and the final vote will be given by the decision-making Chamber of Deputies. The 2015 tragedy left behind 64 people dead, mostly young people, and 200 wounded. And it took years of investigations until a verdict in this case was finally ruled. The fire started from a pyrotechnics display used during the show. For two years, the trial was blocked by procedural issues, and the judge initially designated to handle the case retired, being replaced in October 2018. The second judge promised to speed up the resolution of the case, and he kept his promise, as tens of witnesses and victims were interviewed on a weekly basis. In the last month of 2019, more than four years after the tragedy, the Bucharest court gave a first ruling in this case, which is not definitive, though. The former mayor of the Bucharest sector, where the club was located, Cristian Popescu Piedone, received a prison sentence of eight years and six months for abuse of office in relation to the issuance of functioning authorizations for the respective club. The two owners of the club received prison sentences of 11 years and 8 months for and failure to take legal measures related to safety and health at the workplace. The owners of the pyrotechnic devices company received sentences of 12 years and 8 months and 3 years and 6 months respectively while the two pyrotechnic engineers received nine years and eight months and ten years of imprisonment, respectively. Two firefighters with the Bucharest Emergency Situation Inspectorate, who checked the collective club without taking the legal measures required regarding the legal norms observance, received each sentences of nine years and two months in prison. The people sentenced in this case have to pay together with the City Hall and the Emergency Situation Inspectorate moral and material damages worth more than 50 million euros to the survivors of the fire and to the families of the victims. 
We recall that none of the defendants in this case admitted their guilt and consequently their lawyers are asking for an acquittal. And that's all from Radio News Real. to the microphone and today we will be talking about the Dracula investigation an exhibition opened in Eight Romanian-born Dutch brothers, very fond of Romania's history, as they were raised in Sighishwara, a medieval city in central Romania, one day decided to enrich the travel of, uh, of the city of their childhood. We recall that this medieval city in central Romania is arguably a top travel destination for all those interested in visiting Transylvania. So the eight brothers decided to open an interactive exhibition as an invitation into the fascinating world of Wallachian ruler Vlad Sepes, a.k.a. Dracula, who was born in Sighishwara in 1431. He inherited the name from his father, a nobleman who had been admitted to the monarchical chivalric order of the dragon founded by the Hungarian king Sigismund of Luxembourg. Sepes 